you think of Idaho and food, you probably think of potatoes. But there's so much more. Whether you're headed to the Sunset Cruise on Lake Coeur d'Alene, shopping in the boutiques, or fueling up for an adventure, Coeur d'Alene has the perfect spot to stop in and grab a meal. So let's dig in. We're going to show you our favorite places for a meal and some sweet treats throughout the city streets. Crafted Top House and Kitchen refers to themselves as gastropub perfection and we would have to agree. The vibe is one of the coolest we've ever seen. The food was fresh, modern, and perfectly executed. The kitchen staff starts their prep at 5 a.m. and all the food is sourced locally and organically grown. I had the number 42, Tim's Ground Beef with Cambazola cheese, roasted garlic, bacon jam, black pepper, apple cider, aioli, stacked on a house-made crafted bun. Amy had the Chuck Norris Breathe Air five times per day. Yes, that is the name. This sandwich is stacked with kiwi soy marinated tri-tip steak on a house-made baguette, complete with miso aioli and pickled daikon carrots, jalapeno, and cilantro. We also brought Grace to lunch and she had the coat of many color salad. Everything was really flawless. Super nice, and the girls were lovely. Really yeah, good. check it out if you're in the Coeur d'Alene area. Gelato by the lake. The Relic Smokehouse has been open for five years, and they have been rated number one in barbecue in Idaho for five years. The building was moved to Coeur d'Alene from the Farragut Naval Base. It's been everything from a laundromat to a biker bar. The owner spent over a year renovating. It's rather unassuming from the street, but the interior is eye-catching, welcoming, comfortable, and full of interesting antique and vintage items on the walls. <laughs> they're famous for their smoked prime rib and moose turds. Don't worry, they're not real moose turds, but they sure do resemble them. So what we are looking at here. Moose turds. <laughs> they, they look like it, but they're jalapenos with cream cheese uh, wrapped in bacon and then smoked. So, so they end up looking like this. Definitely not going to taste like a moose turd. So let's because this is following in our theme with the other Idaho themed foods. Smoky and spicy. You got the cream cheese in there. Good? Really. Yeah, I'm gonna try the. Forget which one I'm trying. I think it's the normal, like the regular. Nothing special. It's not mild or spicy. 
because they do have a spicy one. So I put a little of that on my second tart here. <laughs> So correction, not cream cheese, cheddar, but still really, wow, it's such a mouthful of flavor. <laughs> so good. I enjoyed a nice pear cider and Eric went with a smoked ale. Uh, they both went really good with our entrees. Eric, of course, had to try the smoked prime rib. He also had smoked mac and cheese and coleslaw. I had the smoked half chicken baked potato that was also smoked and a house-made baked beans uh, that had three different kinds of beans in them. All right, guys, <laughs> I got the smoked prime rib. We've been waiting for this, it just came off. Oh man, let's see what's, what it's like. Look at that. <laughs> that is incredible. Smoky, tender, prime ribby. <laughs> so good. Try to go in a little bit more here. Get some of that meat. Oh, look at it. It's so juicy and delicious. Tender. <laughs> With a name like Bean and Pie, we weren't quite sure what to expect. Is it a pie made of beans? Turns out we were pleasantly surprised to learn that it is a coffee and pie shop. They specialize in handcrafted pies in multiple different sizes and varieties, both savory and sweet. Everything is organic and locally sourced. Doesn't get much more local than that. They started with farmer's market booths and pop-up events. Now they have a brick and mortar location right in Coeur d'Alene downtown. They can cater your holiday meals or special events. You can order ahead in advance or stop by and just grab something to go like we did. Had a chance to digest our dinner and we're finally breaking into our personal pie we brought home from <laughs> bean, and pie. bean and pie. This is the salted caramel apple. You guys, this crust, I have never had pie crust this good. It's like, it's like a cookie almost. Yeah. So perfectly glazed and flaky. Oh, incredible. This is delicious. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we were um, tired, but we wanted to continue on our Idaho food tour. And so we decided we wanted to check out Melt's Grilled Cheese. These guys are local. They actually started as a food truck. Yeah. And they have now a brick and mortar location. And it's pretty cute. Yeah. They uh, have a hiring sign if you are in the <laughs> Idaho area. <laughs> have to be a cheese enthusiast. Or you're though. moving to the <laughs> Idaho area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheese enthusiasts. So we are definitely cheese enthusiasts. Yes, we are. So um, and we're cheesy. We so are. let's dig in. Yes. They have fancy grilled cheese, guys. So these are not just, you know, grilled cheese like your mama makes on the stove, which I'm not putting my nose up at. It's one of my favorite sandwiches. But these, these are all, whoa. Wow. So I think that's mine. So this is oh, Eric's. that's the, that's the porker, right? Yeah. <laughs> got it? Yep. <laughs> so what do you got in here? Uh, so it's a couple of kinds of cheese and uh, some pulled pork and barbecue sauce. And then it's all grilled on a cheese skirted look yeah there's there's skirted cheese on the on the outside of the bread it looks you fantastic. know it's good when it's cheese skirted yeah. next up is mine 
Mm. Um, the Reuben. The Reuben. Right? Um, so, again, we've got a lovely cheese skirt going on. I'm super excited for. Mm -hmm. And then in here, this is pickled onions, house-made sauerkraut, and pastrami that they make there. I'm so flippin' excited. <laughs> There's bagpipes playing. There are bagpipes playing. Somewhere up there. That is amazing. What a what a great backdrop. Wow. <laughs> That's a way to enjoy a cheesy dinner, yeah, it isn't is. it? <laughs> All right, and you get with your meal the choice of a side. So I got a half cob, um, wow. which I'm actually gonna save for tomorrow That's for a lunch. Cob. Look at that thing. <laughs> but look at this thing. Or I might give this to the kids. I don't think I'll be able to dig into it tonight. But we've got bacon and eggs, and it smells like there's some sort of good dressing on there and yeah. candy pecans mm. and tomatoes avocado so wow that's a loaded I mean this is like a whole second meal yeah. um, and not a bad deal this was 750 for the half sandwich half salad yeah really honestly guys the whole thing we got two two sandwiches and an order of classic mac for for our daughter Grace. Our daughter Gracie. And that looks She's mac oh and cheese man, hound. I think she's going to approve of that one. And they came with sides. Oops, uh, sorry. The mac and cheese and the and the cob salad. And then we got out of here this whole thing for $22. You can't you can't beat that. That's you can't amazing. shake a stick at that. You can't get out of Taco Bell no. drive through so two orders of that mac and cheese because Eric got mac and cheese yes, sandwich and then and a second too. side of mac and cheese, y'all. <laughs> yeah. That's how much he loves it. These are these are half sandwiches and honestly... But that's a whole sandwich, I, like a normal oops, piece there of we bread. Go. Like I don't know that person. I could... Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I could eat a whole version of this thing. That's insane. But if you can, they have them and you can eat that. If you're like a... If you're a big sandwich enthusiast, this is this might seem wimpy to you. So they do have bigger ones, but this is plenty for us. Yes. So <laughs> I think it's time to taste test because All right. I'm literally drooling. Getting a little drooly here. All right. Cool. The half Reuben. The Reuben. Spelled R-O-O-B-E-N. Yeah. So that's how we're pronouncing it. Reuben. You know, to be we wouldn't be technically correct there, Brown. <laughs> now I know there's all this goodness over here, but I just gotta try the cheese skirt. <gasps> Mmm, that looks tasty. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Mmm. Hang on. Killer. This crust. It is so crunchy and delightful and parmesan y tasting. Oh, yeah. And then this meat is so salty. <laughs> Look at this. Box. I'm getting smacked in the face with the box, but I also don't want to drip it all over my lap. I mean, this is like one of those, if it if it doesn't get all over the place, shouldn't go on your face kind of moments right here. <laughs> and then this pickled onion sauerkraut dill. I'm going in again. <laughs> Action. <laughs> so this is the half winker on sourdough. And you know, I think I neglected to mention, there's also a little bit of mac and cheese on there. So watch out now. Starting with the cheese skirt here. I think it's bacon on this. Definitely, uh, definitely a crazy, crazy sandwich. Too good. You can't turn down that cheese skirt first okay. bite. All right, mm. here we go. Oh, good bite. Mm. Mm. Pause while Eric goes to Flavortown here. Oh man, it's chewy. Lots of. <laughs> Lots of different um, textures and flavors. There's a smokiness to it from the bacon, and the, the meat has a sweet barbecue flavor to it. And uh, oh, that cheese skirt is crunchy. There's crunchy onions on it that I didn't realize were there. It, this is absolutely amazing. I'm going in for another one. <laughs> Gotta try the mac and cheese. Looks pretty tasty. Smells amazing. There's lots of, definitely lots of uh, herbs and spices on here. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Get some of the 
ooey gooey from the bottom here. A little bit of the crunchy on the top. Making a mess. <laughs> As I said. If it doesn't get all over the place. Shouldn't go on your face. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is really tasty. Got a tiny bit of a kick to it, but there's like three cheeses in there, I think, is what the what it said. And uh, that that breading on the top, a little bit of a <clears throat> herbaceous flavor to it. Really, really good. Mm. Looks pretty creamy and delicious. Mm. Let's open them. Are they cold? They're cold, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh, you guys. They have the little dirt powdered on them. They've got little holes and... I've never actually eaten Mars pan, just like Mars pan. Mars pan have you? Mm. What do you think of that? It's... It's, um... It's okay. It's a little weird. I don't know. Yeah. I think this is like a very English thing, isn't it? Like, they like marshmallow. Mm. Oh, it's very sweet. It's, yeah. It kind of tastes like a poppy seed muffin, which is weird, but, you know, poppy seed muffin. Oh my god, look at how mm. realistic. <laughs> I mean, it looks just like a little roasted potato, y'all. Yeah, it's cute. Okay. We haven't even had a real like lunch yet, but we saw this place and we had to stop. We had to get those because, I mean, look at them. They're so cute. Um, but we also got a really yummy chocolate marzipan cake. And we tried some of this cake. Uh, and it is so light and buttery. Yeah. And the marzipan is just in the middle. Um, this is good. So I don't, these will probably, we probably won't eat these, but they're so cute. Yeah. I couldn't resist. And look, look, it's just sitting in there all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's tickling me so much, but it is. It. And then, um, we, we were men mentioning how it's Grace's birthday. <clears throat> so we got her this beautiful little slice of cake and it has like raspberry goo. Cheesecake. Yeah. And I hope that she will like it. Yeah, I think she will. Yeah, <laughs> little treat. And I love that the bag's the same color as the spring yeah. hills. Like, <laughs> yeah, the aesthetics of that place, so fun. Cuckoo clocks all over the place. She was a lovely human yeah, too. So yeah. you should go see Hermione's Old World Confections. Right here in Coeur d'Alene. This is cute. Yeah, this is super cute. We're at Coeur d'Alene Coffee. And uh, looks like they have, you know, all the usuals, but we're going to see what they have and get something good. Look at these cookies. Crazy like that. <laughs> it's like they freshly grind all their coffee. So that's pretty awesome. All right, coffee get. Coeur Coffee. We got right their here. specialties. Oh, yeah. So mine's got like a Mexican chocolate thing going on. Heart, heart of the Owl or Heart of the Owl. And then this is the Silver Lake. That's what it Silver is. Lake. It's white chocolate and coffee. Which is funny because that's kind of what Coeur d'Alene looks like. Yeah. Silver. Yeah. It's not really blue for a lake. Yeah. No, <laughs> not really. It is like a silvery silver color. Lake. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Oh, oh, let's try a taste. I didn't even taste it, guys. Oh, I'm really tired from our. Finishes with a little bit of spice, deep chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. Try this one, Silver Lake. Let's see how. <laughs> mm. Wow, white chocolate, cinnamon. It's oh, that's so good. 
tasty yeah. stuff. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out if you do. And if you want to follow along, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out new videos.